Gen 7 to 10K Power Solutions. We suggest you take a moment to read the user manual before the installation. Please ensure that the ambient temperature ranges from minus 25 to 60 degrees Celsius, and that the operational altitude does not exceed 2000 meters. Place the inverter on a well-shaded site to protect it from the direct sunlight, rain, snow, etc. Mount the inverter on a wall at an angle of 75 to 90 degrees to the ground, ensuring the display screen is positioned at eye level for optimal visibility. For parallel systems, please maintain the minimum clearances presented below for adequate heat dissipation. Ensure that you have the following tools with you. The inverter is a wall mounting type. Two people may be needed to install the inverter due to its weight. Place the mounting bracket upright. The bottom of the bracket should be 2.5 inches higher than the eyesight level. Mark the drill hole's positions with the mounting bracket, then drill 4 8 mm diameter holes, making sure the depth of the holes is deeper than 50 mm Install and tighten the expansion bolts into the holes. Then, use the corresponding nuts and washers, packaged together with the expansion bolts, to attach and secure the wall mounting bracket to the wall. Hang the inverter onto the wall mounting bracket. A sheet following shows the adequate power cable. Step 1. Strip 0.24 to 0.31 inches 6 to 8 millimeters of insulation from the end of the cable and press the terminal to the end of the cable. Step 2. Unscrew the waterproof cover terminal. Note, when you use a wire with a diameter of less than 35 mm, it can directly pass through the waterproof hole. The video used 50 mm wire. Step 3. Remove the 35 mm waterproof plug so that it can pass through the 50 mm line. Step 4. Tighten the waterproof port and pass the battery cable through the waterproof head and cover. Step 5. Remove the screws with a tool. Step 6. Fix the cables to the corresponding terminals. According to the positive and negative polarities of the battery side, be sure to connect according to the correct polarity, reverse connection will cause damage to the inverter and battery. Step 7. Install the waterproof cover screws. Refer to the sheet for adequate cable selection. Please double check the lowest ambient temperature of the installation location. Strip off 0.25 to 0.31 inches, 6 to 8 millimeters, of insulation on the PV string's positive and negative conductors. Assemble the cable ends to crimp contacts. Lead the cable through the cable seal and socket, then insert it into the corresponding insulator until it snaps into place, then tighten the cable gland. Notice, you will hear a click sound if it's fitting in place. Remove the PV waterproof plug and install the PV terminal. Route the PV conductors through the conduit fitting and into the inverter. When verified the PV connector is tight, align the two half connectors and mate them together by hands until a click is felt or heard. The following sheet shows the cable requirement. Notice, for disassembling the connectors, Please press the plastic fitting. 
Step 1. Strip off 0.31 to 0.37 inches, 8 to 10 millimeters, of insulation sleeve on the cables. Step 2. Use wire ferrules if the cables are made of fine stranded wires, and crimp them. Step 3. Assemble the gland. Step 4. Thread the AC cable through the cable seal and socket. Insert the conductors fully into the corresponding terminals of the terminal block and tighten the screws with an Allen key. The terminals have Pokayoke design, please refer to the image to ensure correct AC cable connection. Assemble the grid connector, ensuring that the ribs of the terminal block and the grooves on the housing are fully engaged until you feel or hear a distinct click. Notice, install an AC circuit breaker, AC switch, between the inverter and the grid. Before connecting the AC cable from the inverter to the AC circuit breaker, ensure the AC circuit breaker is functioning properly. Close the AC circuit breaker and leave it in the open position. Connect the PE conductor to the grounding pole, and connect the N and L conductors to the AC circuit breaker. Step 1. Strip off 0.31 to 0.37 inches, 8 to 10 millimeters, of insulation sleeve on the cables. Step 2. Use wire ferrules if the cables are made of fine stranded wires, and crimp them. Step 3. Assemble the cable seal and gland and thread the AC cable through the cable seal and socket. Insert the conductors fully into the corresponding terminals of the terminal block and tighten this with an Allen key. Step 4. Align the load connector with the AC terminals, and manually engage them until you hear or feel a distinct click. Notice, install a separate single-phase circuit breaker or other load disconnection device for each inverter to ensure safe disconnection under load. The inverter features residual current detection and protection functions. If the inverter must be equipped with an AC circuit breaker with residual current detection capability, an AC circuit breaker with a rated residual current greater than 300 mA must be selected. Step 1. Strip off 0.31 to 0. 37 inches, 8 to 10 mm, of insulation sleeve on the cables. Step 2. Route in cable lugs and crimp them. Step 3. Assemble the cable seal and gland and thread the cable through the cable seal and socket. Insert the conductors fully into the corresponding terminals of the terminal block and tighten the screws with an Allen key. Step 4. Align the generator connector with the terminals, and manually engage them until you hear or feel a distinct click. Notice, the pass-through relay on the generator port is 50A. When the generator is on, please ensure the total load and charge current will not exceed 50A. If the user wishes to remotely start the generator, the generator start signal should be connected to the Gen Normal On NO, or Normal Closed NC, ports on the COM board. Connect to the dry contact terminal for remote start. Step 1. Disassemble the port cover and take out the rubber cylinders. Step 2. Route the cables through the cable seal and make sure the battery communication cable is routed to the IN beacon side. Step 3. Route through the fitting and eject the rubber plug, squeeze the cables in, and then assemble the port cover. Step 4. Plug in the CT and battery communication cable. Then secure the port cover.
Step 5. To measure the power imported from and exported to the grid, a CT or 1 meter must be installed at the service entry point in or near the main service panel. We standard supply 1 CT for 1 inverter. Plant the CT on the L wire of the grid cable and make sure the CT is pointed to the inverter. Plug in and then secure all screws of the dongle. Please refer to the dongle user manual for Wi-Fi connection. All connections are complete. Warning, please double check the polarity of the wires to prevent miswiring. We recommend turning on the PV switch to test the off-grid output, and then turning on the grid switch when normal. After the installation, you will be able to set the inverter on the LCD. Click Advanced. Select the PV input mode. And click Enter. Note, select the mode according to the PV wiring mode. Select battery type. Select brand. You can monitor the inverter by configuring the dongle and registering an account using a mobile app. Use your smartphone to scan the QR code to download the Lux Power app one. Use your mobile device to connect to the Wi-Fi named by the dongle SN number. Open the Lux Power app. Click the dongle connect button. Input the account and password of the Wi-Fi that you want to join. Click the home Wi-Fi connect button. If there is no Wi-Fi available on-site or the correct Wi-Fi name cannot be found in the drop-down list, you can manually enter the Wi-Fi account name and password. After the setup is successful, the dongle will continuously attempt to connect to the entered Wi-Fi name until the connection is successful. Android users can connect to dongle using Bluetooth. First, open Lux Power app, click Dongle Connection. Click Set with Bluetooth. Find your dongle SN and click on it. Enter the Wi-Fi name and password. Click on Home Wi-Fi Connect. Fill the form according to your personal information the star sign means the necessary information. The installation code is provided by the installer or distributor. The SN code and PIN code can be found on the body of the dongle. Log into your account, and then start exploring your own energy system. The basic installation and network configuration steps have been demonstrated. If you encounter any issues during the installation process, please feel free to contact us.